What is going on guys? Uh, Dr. D here bringing you my very first war recap from One Hive Invicta. Um, you know, this is an exciting recap for me, not only because it's our first, but because it was supposed to be a farm war, and there are a few things greater than hitting the search key or search uh, button, sitting back and waiting, and then seeing war has been declared against a clan that you know. Um, so we were lucky enough to get a random search that popped up against, let's pull it up here, Black Hand Side. Uh, Black Hand Side, for those of you who don't know, are a sister clan for um, Above and Beyond. And we had um, actually a, an arranged war with Above and Beyond just a couple of months ago. Uh, it, was, it was a weird uh, war. Invicta lost that war. Um, we hit spin. Invicta... Uh, uh, above and Beyond hit spin and Swarm hit spin right after that war and Swarm then matched Above and Beyond in a random and Swarm wound up beating them. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of a, an interesting turn of events but at any rate um, this was uh, a fun war, a great war to to go go in after having just um, finished up an arranged war against Cold September. Um, you can see uh, the, the uh, Invicta guys, boy, we, we had a we had a, a pretty good performance here. at Town Hall Nines did quite well, uh, and ended up with um, 85, 79, uh, 25, three stars to their 21, three stars. Um, and I, I tell you what, a lot of guys with six packs. In fact, we had seven six packs this war, and and one one person. Um, Jerry there, who's also Team Unique, uh, actually got a 99% two-star and then a, a three-star, a triple. So um, a lot of really, really good performances. Um, we're going to hop over and we're going to check out uh, some of the attacks here. Um, we're going to start down here at number 28. Um, so this is Ryan the Great. Ryan is one of those guys that had himself a six-pack. Uh, and you'll see that he is bringing, this is a quad laloon. Um, I, I really like this attack. It's an attack that I use uh, quite a bit. So you see that he's got um, a, a couple of uh, lightning spells there. And he's going to zap quake that AD. Um, and then he's going to push in here, get the queen. And, and once you've got that queen and, and usually the CC, then you're good to go with air, especially in a base like this where you've got at least one of those AD or one of those um, expos that are pointed down. Uh, he did not get the CC, which is really, really risky here. Um, is able to get a poison on the CC. Uh, once those hounds start popping, you'll see that they do get the CC, those hounds under, uh, or, or those pups under rage um, with a CC and the poison just doesn't stand a chance. Um, gets in there, uh, four Lava Hounds for three ADs. He does wind up, uh, you know, it's it's a little bit uh, touch and go there for a second. As he pops that AD up at the top, his Hounds come down just in time, and he's got a haste there, pulls it in. Uh, and this is, this is all over but the cleanup now. That Hound actually is never going to pop for him. But we'll, we'll speed it up here. Uh, a lot of the attacks, almost every attack this war actually at, at Town Hall 9 any, at any rate, um, was some sort of an air attack. And so you see here, uh, Ryan the Great comes in. Um, even with, with uh, a couple of, of perhaps missteps not getting that CC, maybe he planned to kill the CC with, a, uh, with the attack, I don't know. But um, uh, air seems to really, really be rocking things right now. Um, let's move on to the next attack, um, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Uh, we're going to look at um, 26 here. Uh, the reason that we're going to look at 26 is because I want to show you that um, almost everything that could go wrong goes wrong on this attack, and yet he still walks away with the tree. Um, also, look at this base because I've seen this base over and over and in fact I think I saw it twice this war um, this is a common base and if you want a, a, a good attack to take down this base then here it is so you see he starts out with um, a shattered entry Ugh, sends in all of those wall breakers up top at 12 o'clock they hit a bomb so we have a wall breaker fail queen is pounding away on that golem and now it's gone that golem is finished this other golem is now going to get taken out by the queen, and so you'll see that the golems helped to create that funnel or clear that funnel, but boy, after that, that was it. At any rate, 
King finally busts through the wall, in with the bowlers, and he's going to drop a heel real quick here. Um, even though everything is tanking there, heel comes down. He probably could have held that heel until he got up here a, a bit further, but down with the rage, gets the queen, and now you're going to see one um, AD is down, two AD is down, and if you can get two ADs down, you've got a pretty good shot at this base. Queen is pushing in, boom, boom, bombs just take out the last of those bowlers. That queen is about ready, though, to get that last AD. And when she does, when she takes out the third AD, this is over with. So, you have a messed up <laughs> entry, golems that just get eaten alive, um, yet, and, and perhaps, right, an early placement of at least one of those spells, yet you you get in there um, with, with air, and, and this attack is just so overpowered. There's just not enough of the base left at this point. So uh, we'll speed it up here a little bit. Uh, we get through this Tesla farm just fine. Uh, eventually this hound does pop, Tesla farm, and it is clean up and tree stars in the bag. Uh, good job, Phoenix. Uh, next one we're gonna look at is 25. Uh, this is an attack by Cheese. Cheese also had a six pack this war. Uh, this is becoming um, uh, an increasingly common attack, right? It's the stoned hobo attack. Um, <laughs> aka the Cheatham. Um, so uh, he gets the uh, he, he gets the CC pulled there and he gets those two golems down. Um, he is going to uh, wall break in here and three golems. You jump into that expo compartment and at this point uh, he's gonna bring those bowlers in and so this is this is another thing that I've noticed a lot and I haven't been doing this attack a whole lot but um, both Cheese and Sports Buff who, who had a six back uh, did this attack twice and they used two jumps and when you use two jumps you push so deep into the base here and if you look I mean right now all he's really brought out is his kill squad right and he has cleared half of that base. He's going to get another jump down up here. And he's going to get into that queen compartment. And look at there's just nothing left. There's almost nothing left for the hogs. We have one, two, just a few point defenses, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, maybe more than I thought. But but still, I mean, half of that base is gone, or, or, or two thirds of that base is gone before the hogs even start to come in. So it's just a just a, a very very overpowered attack. Adding at this point, um, if you're not adding bowlers to in your CC to almost every attack at Town Hall Nine, boy, you're you're kind of missing the boat. Uh, do it while you can because they're going to get nerfed, and and we are not going to have this these uh, these these ridiculous raids that we have with bowlers. All right, but there we go. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, cheese. Uh, what do we have next? Let's finish it up. There we go. All right. Next is number 24. All right. So this is Cass. Um, this is a nice attack. So th there's some things that I really like about this. One, it's, it's, it's a more traditional attack, right? He's coming with a queen walk. Um, it's, it's a straight up Govaho with a queen walk. I, I, I'm sorry, it's not even a Govaho because there's no golem here. Uh, he, he gets some value out of just a couple of giants and uses those to tank. He's pulled the CC down there um, and he's going to use the, the queen walk to take care of the CC like we've done in kind of traditional queen walk um, Vajos. Um, so she's uh, taking out this uh, CC now, getting all kinds of value up there. Lots of point defense is gone already. And then we'll speed it up just a little bit here as she pushes through. You're going to see as she gets up to the top here, she's going to bust into this compartment. He's going to use the, uh, a giant as a tank to get her in there. In she goes, but she's going to wind up losing. I'll wait for her here, but she's going to wind up losing every one of these healers, unfortunately, because that king hops out and that AD sits there and picks on it. But while that's happening, down below, sets a funnel with the, with the, the, the giant, in with the BK, in with the Valks, and just tearing stuff up. This is a great example of the, the fact that, you know, on, on even 
what we would consider kind of a more traditional base, though this does have the, the, the big expo um, compartment that we've been seeing that's part of the new meta right now, right? Um, but even in a more traditional base, uh, with a more traditional attack, things kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice to see some of these more traditional attacks again, the, the Govahos, the things without bowlers. Um, and, and I purposely picked a couple of attacks this war just to show that. So there we go, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Cass. Uh, what do we have next? 17. So 17 is DWS. Um, lots of love for DWS. He's the guy that actually brought me into the 2.0 family. I'm very happy to see that he's back um, in the fold with us here. And he's coming in with um, a very nice... Uh, shattered go below. Um, he's going to have uh, bowlers in the CC. So you see, um, brings those two golems. He's setting his uh, funnel up. Um, wall breaks in, and as soon as that is set, down with the royals and out with the CC. Um, and you'll see, there's just a, a very deep push here. He's going to get um, two or possibly three. I think he might get all. He might get three. Uh, air defenses here. Boy, I can't remember, actually. So, at any rate, um, we've got a deep push in here. Boy, it's kind of actually looking scary on this raid right now. Uh, one air defense is down. There goes another air defense. Um, he's got his loons following, following in there. Everything is looking good. Um, and... Queen is taking care of that. In with the next hound, one hound pops, the other hound is going through. He has not got that queen yet, notice that. Um, but he's going to get that queen pretty quickly here. Bam, right there, takes out the queen. Um, and there goes the final uh, the final air defense right there, going to take out that expo. And it is all over with at this point. Uh, Loons will take out these remaining few defenses. And it is three stars in the bag. Nice job, buddy, and welcome back. All right. What do we have next? Ah, we are going to move on to some... Uh, a 10v10 triple. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to point something out real quick here. Um, Aaron, number 21, I'm not going to show his base, just kind of out of respect for this guy. I tell you what, seven hits. It took us seven hits to finally clear this base. He had level two expos, or I think one level one, or one level two and one level three. Um, regardless, a very nice base design, just complicated. A lot of the hits were like 97%, 94%. We just could not seem to clear it. And it's these bases that have those small things, right, that, that, that cause a, a small flaw in your original plan. Um, and things just don't quite go the way that you planned. But yeah, um, props to you. Um, the, the attack on it uh, was was <laughs> was finally cleared by an air attack by BDE, who also had a six-pack this war. But I'm not going to show it just because, man, uh, great base design, and, and, and I'll keep that one a secret for you. Um, let's move on to number 10. This was an attack by Seb. So we've got... Um, He's going to start out setting his funnel, and you can see that he's going to go with a um, kind of a basic queen walk with a mass minor attack here. So start setting the funnel. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit here. In with the queen. Funnel is set. He's going to get the enemy queen here in just a second. Bowlers in to help out a little bit with this funnel on the side. And once that is taken care of, in with the miners. And this is just your basic mass miner attack. Of course, the, there's the, the new miner attack that we're seeing, mostly at Town Hall 11, um, that, uh, where they, they clear the sides, and I think it's often used just for, for donut or very kind of centralized AD types of bases. But... Uh, miners just kind of working their way around, um, healing them as they come around, and you can see right there, once that bow goes down, it is all over. Two defenses left, and uh, 
That is it. That's all she wrote. Uh, tree star in the bag. Nice job, Seb. That was our one 10 v 10 triple that we had. And now we are going to look at number four, which was our 11 v 11 triple. And this is, this is by Mav. So um, Mav is coming in again with um, Mass Miner. Uh, you can see that he's going to start setting this funnel um, using baby drags, using a golem. Um, uh, pretty soon, these bowlers are going to come in and help to clear out some of this uh, side compartments. So bowlers come in, and the uh, eagle is activated. We've got a jump down. We've got a rage down. Um, CC is out. And we are pushing here to get to that eagle. We are almost there. And eagle is taking some hits now. Gone. Eagle is down. And at that point, miners start coming in. Um, so I'm going to tell you, I'm not an expert at Town Hall. Uh, I'm not an expert at Town Hall 9, but I'm not an expert at Town Hall 10 or 11 either. Um, but I do know that uh, from following the chats, you've got to get those miners going um, at around the two minute mark if not earlier and so there's there's a lot of push right because they're fairly slow and there's a lot of extra buildings that have to get taken out here but miners are in um, he's healing them across he's got uh, the the warden is still up and it is just uh, banging away at this point So we will speed it up just a little bit. You can see the miners down here on the south end at 6 o'clock are, are coming in. And that uh, warden winds up finally taking out that uh, inferno tower. Um, miners are going to get these last few point defenses. Uh, warden goes down, but at this point it doesn't matter. You've got two defenses left, a cannon and a, a, a whiz tower. So... It is three stars in the bag. Nice job, Mav. And Mav also had a six-pack this war. So nice job um, overall. So that is it. Uh, very fun war. Um, thanks, Blackhand Side. Really enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, my first video through for Invicta. Take care.